Maddie from Black Essence. Today I'm at the National Institute of Cinnamon Industry in Sri Lanka. With the assistant director and team manager, we're lucky enough today to learn about how True Cinnamon Quills are made and lots of information about why this product is so wonderful. Today we're going to go by a step-by-step -step process of how to make a cinnamon quill. The first step is cutting a cinnamon tree. Uh, when this is done, if the color of the tree is considered as this gives you an idea of the maturity. So what they look for is this nice brown color versus a kind of gray color like this one. Uh, when the right specimen is found, it's cut five centimeters from the ground at a 45 degree angle. And again, they're looking for ones that are nice and straight. As you can see here, this is tied and that's helping keep this straight for a better quality quill. Once the tree is cut at a 45 degree angle, five centimeters from the ground, then the branches are trimmed off and left to dry in the field. Once the stock has been soaked, the outer layer of bark by its older cells is scraped off so that we can get to the inner layer of bark which we'll use to make the same quilt. After the outer bark is removed, the inner bark is rubbed with a brass rod uh, to help loosen it from the stalk. It's important that a brass rod is used since any other type of metal is going to cause a reaction with the bark and it will cause discoloration. So we're now cutting the uh, layer of bark off the cinnamon stalk after it's been rolled. This requires a huge amount of skill as we want the pieces to be as long as possible to make quality quills. So as you can see here, this is a lot of skilled labor going into this, very carefully cutting from the stock and not breaking the pieces and keeping the length. So this piece will be used, well first it will be dried and then it will be used to make a cinnamon quill. Uh, this will likely be used as an odor casing and then smaller pieces that may not have made the length will be used to fill the quill and be rolled into a full filled quill of cinnamon. Now that the cinnamon bark has been cut, it's going to be made into a quill. The standard length for a quill is 105 centimeters. The way it's made is large pieces that we saw cut previously that have no holes in them are used as the outer edge and then any small pieces that maybe had uh, miscuts or knots in them uh, are going to be used to fill the inside of the large outer piece of bark. So some characteristics of Cinnamonmum Selenicum is that it has a soft texture, a golden brown color, and it has high fragrance. A really important difference between this cinnamon, which is true cinnamon, is that it has a much lower level of comarin in it versus the other cinnamons. After the quills are rolled, then they are left to dry for 24 hours and then rolled again to press them together tighter. Afterwards, they're brought to continue drying on these nets until they reach a moisture level of below 14%. It's important for the quills to dry to a moisture below 14% to prevent fungal contamination. The final step in preparing cinnamon quills for the market is bundling them into bales of either 25 kgs or 45 kgs. Thank you very much to this National Training Center for Cinnamon Industry Sri Lanka, the director, the assistant director, and the training manager for all the knowledge about True Cinnamon today and knowing so much more about the best cinnamon in the world.